Here's my take on the HiFitz masterclass of the early 1960s. These are super amazing to watch and you can learn a lot from watching them. But my teacher Ron, um, when he showed me these the first time, drew a comparison with his own dad. He said that back in the day, if his father entered the room, you would have to leave the room and you would not be permitted to talk to him without being spoken to first. Very strict disciplinarian. Now, Heifetz was not quite so strict as that. And he did have fun with his students, New Year's parties and so on. He did was very generous and kind to his students and took care of them. But in the masterclass, you really do get a sense of the strictness. Uh, and you would hardly dare to challenge Heifetz on musicality or show up under practice. So... In the following sections, I'm just going to um, pull in some extracts just so you can get a glimpse in the half the Heifetz masterclasses. Of course, you can find them in full length on YouTube these days. And uh, yeah, enjoy. What do we have today? Well, I have two etudes by Kreutzer and Dont and uh, Polonius by Vinyovsky. That's number two. And I've been working on the Horace Hypatu for my to improve my spectrum. And how is it improving? Well, it's getting better. Getting better. Well, we shall hear. Uh, we will skip the four body scales and go right into the performance of the Polonaise. Would you tune, please? Start it again and give them a little bit. Uh... Uh, I am uh, noticing something. You have not been doing much. This was good, but a little high. But you, you are. You're going into a few more tricks than I saw you do. You, you, you do this. Keep going. This kind of stuff. I would prefer it. Now, you remember we're talking about our balance. Keep your balance between your two. You can balance from one leg onto the other, right? So, keep doing it, but don't go into any of us. Looks like you might make a leap. <laughs> All right. Da da da, right there where you start. Put a little bit out of the polonaise. The same thing was good, but keep it, keep it more in the tempo. Then the piano comes in, and we, we you're playing so far three or four different. <laughs> Will you play it here? Wait. Uh, play the same thing. You have it. Come on. So, but the same idea. But a definite tempo. So you play and he has to follow you. You know the melody, not he? Few bars. Once more, I want to hear the piano. 
piano predominates. I want the piano to predominate. I want to hear it very definite. E not louder necessarily. Maybe the violin a little bit less loud, but I would like you to hear him. And please follow him. One bow, different bow in the middle. More space in between. Things. It's a little bit too flat. It plays this one here. starts it starts it doesn't take two or three bars until you say i'm ready now when you start you're ready at the minute you start see and you of course this has to be reversed and for a few bars before um, one two three four bars before the uh, double bar all right That's fine.
should commend you for bravery. G sharp minor in fingered. Minor. Monty going to land awfully high if you start though. If you start there. I think it would be flat. Well, Mr. Lamb, except Dr. Laura. So the next time we'll do it where you start four octaves. Lower position. All right, now what attitudes do we have? Were you doing a Paganini tour? I'm not Paganini. I'm not Paganini. Number uh, seven. Seven? Oh, yes. Right. Yeah. And which, uh, which don't the same as the... Number five and number 21. Number... Don't for the only... Oh, yes. Yeah, let's uh, let's do the five if you want. An arrangement which makes it a little bit more pianistic because it's rather unpianistic. It's purely orchestral. All right, a few bars before. Piano compliment, you know. There's a crescendo and a decrescendo, does it not? Yes. I don't uh, seem to have heard it somehow. Sure song. Is a, a piano part arranged by someone in particular? It doesn't say. There's a new piano component, you know, just like the Sibelius done by, uh, who did Sibelius by? Uh, uh, all right, you all tuned? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I forgot for a moment, I'll have to find out that there is a, there is a, uh, an arrangement which makes it a little bit more pianistic, because it's rather unpianistic. Pure the orchestra. Right. All right, a few bars before. on the G-string, that is preferable. The whole first frame. The whole first frame. Thank you. 
I said, don't play all the notes. Oh. You are trying to play them all. There, too, there are too many, too many notes, and they, they are almost unplayable. We were just discussing this other edition. Uh, so just play more or less, so that we can keep the tempo. Will you give us the duty again? The road tempo in this piece. I think we discussed it once. And it can take 12 minutes, it can take 14, and there was once a performance of 18. That's a very comfortable one. You take a snooze during the <laughs> performance. <laughs> But that depends. I like the action. I prefer it so it moves. I'd rather play it before the customers fall asleep, you know. <laughs> so could you start at the... Uh,